welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray and welcome to another video I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video today we're going to be talking all about my Kindle I'm going on about nine months I think of having it in the beginning of 2023 I actually did a whole review on it my first thoughts and impressions on it and now we are doing a nine month updated review I'm going to be sharing the pros and cons of having a Kindle as well as talking about Kindle Unlimited Limited because I get so many questions regarding what Kindle Unlimited is. Is it worth the money and what type of books can you read on it? So that is what we're going to be covering in today's video. I have to say I am very surprised with how much I've been loving my Kindle these last few months. Before having a Kindle, I was definitely a big physical book type of girly. I never thought in a million years that I would turn into a Kindle girly. Before having my Kindle, I did try reading on my phone and iPad, but I just couldn't get into it. I got gifted my Kindle for Christmas last year and I've just fallen in love with it this year. Really quick though before we hop into it I just want to say a quick thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. They are actually having a huge anniversary sale this week. You can get up to 50% off and if you use this code you can actually get an additional 10% off. I've mentioned FlexiSpot in previous videos but if you're not familiar FlexiSpot specializes in at-home desks but what makes them so amazing is that they are adjustable standing desks. I love having a standing desk because I'm able to keep working when I get restless or want to stretch my legs out. It's honestly been such a game changer when it comes to my longer work days. Whether I'm working on homework or YouTube, I'm sitting at my desk for such long periods of time and I tend to get so restless. So being able to adjust my desk and stand up whenever I want, life-changing. Just for reference, I have the Comair all-in-one standing desk and I've been using it for almost two years now. You'll never want to get rid of it and I think the design of it is really nice to fit in with any type of home decor or aesthetic. With the help of these buttons, that you can raise your desk as high or as low as you want. One of my favorite features is that you can actually set your favorite heights and with the push of a button, the desk will automatically adjust for you. There are also charging ports that make life so much easier when it comes to charging my devices. The desktop is big enough to organize all my stuff while also still having enough room for me to read and write. I couldn't recommend FlexiSpot enough. Their desks are so high tech and so fun to switch up. So run to their website now while they're having their anniversary sale. You'll get up to 50% off. And if you use this code, you'll get an additional 10% off. Also, if you buy their E7 series, you can get 50% off their ergonomic chairs. But thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's hop in to my Kindle review. Okay, we are gonna hop right into it. To start it off, I just want to tell you guys what Kindle I have specifically. I have the Kindle Paperwhite 11th generation, and then I believe I have the 8 gigabytes one. I know there's different tiers to the gigabytes. For those of you who are wondering if 8 gigabytes is enough storage, if you should get a higher tier, the more gigabytes. For myself personally, I feel like the 8 gigabytes is more than enough space. I have a lot of books saved on my Kindle, and I've never really had a problem when it comes to space or storage but it totally depends. If you only read on your Kindle and you don't get physical books, that might be too small for you and you might want to consider getting a higher gigabyte Kindle. If you go between physical books and your Kindle, I think eight gigabytes is more than enough. We're gonna hop in to the pros and cons of having a Kindle. Of course, the biggest pro to having a Kindle and why I feel like most people get a Kindle. It's small and lightweight. It's easy to travel with. You can store so many books on your Kindle to read instead of having physical books in your library. But Aside from that very obvious pro and why most people get a Kindle, there are other pros to having a Kindle. One of my favorite things about the Kindle is that it has a backlight in it so I can read at night and I don't need to have a lamp on or a little book light on, which is such a game changer because before I had my Kindle, I had this obnoxious book light that I would read with every night. Even though it's a small amount of light, it's still kind of overwhelming, I guess you could say. Having a backlight on the Kindle is so nice. The backlight also isn't overwhelming. You can and adjust the brightness and warmth in the settings, which I find to be really helpful. I only have mine on a 10 and I feel like it's the perfect amount of light at night. And even during the day, I think if I was outside in the sun, I'd probably turn it up because it might be a little bit of a problem. But other than that, the backlight is incredible. The warmth is another really cool feature to make the light warmer or lighter. Another feature I like that you can do with your Kindle is there's dark mode. So I currently have mine in dark mode, as you can see, but you can turn it to light mode. And with light mode, it looks more 
more like a book in my opinion, but I love dark mode. I think it's just so nice. Also a huge thing with the Kindle backlight is it prevents eye strain. So it's actually better than reading a book on your phone or on your iPad. I used to read books on my iPad and I still would get terrible migraines. But with the Kindle, you don't have to worry about that, which I really appreciate because I like to read for very long periods of time. I could be reading on my Kindle for a few hours and my eyes won't hurt. I won't be getting a headache and that's just so big for me. Another huge pro to having a Kindle is the battery life on this thing is unreal. I think I charge my Kindle once every month. I use this thing every single night. I read when I wake up in the morning and I read before I go to bed. The battery life is absolutely incredible, especially opposed to your phone, your iPad, your laptop. This thing lasts forever. <laughs> when you're reading a book on your Kindle, it also shows you what page you're on as well as the percentage through and it shows you how long you have until you reach the next chapter. If you look in this corner here, it tells me that I have exactly 12 minutes left in this chapter. I have to say it's very accurate too. When you start a new book, Kindle times how long it takes to get through the first few chapters, and then that's how they estimate how many minutes you have in a chapter. And then in the opposite corner, it tells you the percentage of the book you are through. Whenever you wanna know what page you're on, you can just tap and it will show you right down here the page you're on and how many pages total are in the book. I believe you can go in your settings and have it so the page number is also on your screen, but I just have it off because I don't really care. And then at the very top, I have the time. You can change what shows on your screen while you're reading. So you can go into your settings and play around with it, but I just love having like these three numbers on my screen at all times just to let me know how far I am and what time of day it is because I find that I will stay up reading until 4 a.m. sometimes. I'm like, okay, what are we doing here? I need to go to bed. And then I guess the last thing I would say as really cool about having a Kindle is that they're so customizable. Can we take a moment? Look how cute my little Kindle is. If you guys want to know where I got this case from or my pop socket, I do have it linked on my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my description. If you guys want to check it out, I just have this cutie baby pink case on. I got one that has a cover because I like that when you open it, the Kindle just automatically turns on. I was really torn between getting this case and then just a plain clear case to put stickers on because that's what most people do with their Kindles. I just like the idea of having this type of case because it makes it feel more like a little book when you open it. It's also protecting my screen more, which I'm a very, very clumsy person. You can order so many fun stickers off Amazon, Etsy. Yeah, this is my cutie Kindle. I love that you can customize them. When it comes to the cons of having a Kindle, I feel like there's really not a lot. To be completely honest, the biggest one and the only one is is that it's not a real book. And I know a lot of people out there are physical book people only. You love the feeling of flipping the pages. You love the smell of books. You love having that physical copy in your hands. I never wanted a Kindle. I didn't like reading on my iPad. I just wasn't an e-reader type of girl. And then I got gifted this for Christmas and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. And I ended up loving it so much just because of those extra features, like the percentage of the book you're through, how long it's gonna take you to get through a chapter. Also, I don't know if it's proven or if it's even true, but I personally think that I read faster on my Kindle. I feel like I fly through books so much faster when I'm reading on this opposed to reading a physical book. But the main con, of course, is that it's not a physical book. And if you are a physical book type of person, that's okay. I still think having a Kindle as a backup is really nice because again, when it comes to traveling, it's just easier to bring a Kindle with you. I noticed a few months ago when I was traveling, I brought physical books with me. Guys, I literally just put them in my carry-on and when I opened them up, my one book, the front cover was like bent and creased and I have regretted it every day since. So now I only travel with my Kindle. I'm so nervous to ruin my physical books when I'm traveling. There's so many pros to having a Kindle and I really think the pros outweigh that one single con of it not being a physical book. Other people may say that cons are you have to charge it and stuff like that. The battery life is so long on this thing. I don't even consider it a con when I have to plug it in for an hour once every few months. I feel like the main con and why people don't like Kindles is they love physical books and I don't blame people like that because I definitely was that person too. The Kindle is a game changer especially for those of you who want to save money in the long run. Buying physical books can be so expensive and with your Kindle you can get book subscriptions where you can get access to a bunch of different books every month and you can read them. I know a lot of people who check out books from their library and you can get 
the digital versions on your Kindle. So I think in the long run, if you're a very big time reader, this saves you so much money. So as I mentioned, there are subscriptions out there where you can get access to millions of books every month for a small amount of money. The biggest one being Kindle Unlimited. I get questions about Kindle Unlimited all the time on my channel. I get questions if it's worth the money, what books can you read on there? I myself do pay a monthly subscription to be a part of it. I just think it is so worth it to get access to all these books. So if you're not familiar, Kindle Unlimited is a monthly based subscription. I believe you pay $15 a month and you get access to their entire catalog. They're able to check out 15 books at a time with Kindle Unlimited. And what that means, everyone gets super confused when I say this. You have like your own library on your Kindle. It's where you can access all the books you have downloaded. So if you buy books off of Amazon or if you're checking it out from Kindle Unlimited, you'll find all those books there. When you're browsing at Kindle Unlimited's library though and you find a book you like, you click on it, you press download, it will download to your library. And once you download 15 books, you max out and you can't download any more until you return those books. So when you're done reading a book from Kindle Unlimited, you just click on the three dots in the corner and tap the return button and it returns it back to Kindle Unlimited and then you're immediately able to take more books out. It's kind of like a library system to be honest, but for $15 a month. And I think the most confusing part about it is a lot of people think that you can only read 15 books a month from Kindle Unlimited and that's all that's included in your subscription. That's not how it works. You're able to read an unlimited amount of books from Kindle Unlimited every single month. You just can only have 15 of their books in your library at a time. It's super worth it in my opinion. I do have a massive list of books that are on Kindle Unlimited that I think you guys would really enjoy because I really enjoyed them but they're also books that I want to read off of Kindle Unlimited. But Kindle Unlimited is not limited to just these books that I'm sharing with you guys. These are just my top favorite books and books I want to read from them. They have such a crazy catalog and I do recommend if you get Kindle Unlimited definitely take your time going through it because there's just so many books to go through. It's so crazy but it's also so cool because you're given so many different options and you can browse them by genre and author and all these different filters so it's definitely worth it. We are going to get right in to the Kindle Unlimited Rex portion. This is the most highly requested question on my channel. What books can you read off of Kindle Unlimited? Like I said, these are not the only books you could read. There's so many more. So to start off, we have the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. Don't get me started. You guys know we've tackled this series this year. It's one of my favorite book series of 2023. It makes my heart so happy. Chef's Kiss. Lauren Asher is incredible. The Dirty Air series is also by her and that's also available on Kindle Unlimited. We have the Magnolia Park series. This is a very popular gossipy type of series that everyone is obsessed with at the moment. We have the Twisted series by Anna Hong, one of my favorite favorite series of all time. The Twisted series just hits different for me. I love it so much. And we also have her Kings of Sin series. Two incredible series that are available for just $15 a month opposed to paying I think like the $150, $160 to get the physical copies. The Never After Novels by Emily McIntyre. It's so funny because I actually pre-ordered Cross from Amazon and I remember I was waiting all day for it to get delivered, but it was taking so long that I actually just hopped on my Kindle to start it and I was so grateful in that moment to have Kindle Unlimited. When new releases come out, they're immediately available on Kindle Unlimited. I think for my time zone being on the East Coast, they're available at 4 a.m. That's another really cool feature to having Kindle Unlimited. The Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. I know you guys are gonna be like, okay, Alexa, every series is your favorite book series, but like the Chestnut Spring series is another one of my favorite, favorite series this year. The Cowboy Aesthetic intro. The Selection series by Kiara Cass is available. This is a very popular YA dystopian royal romance series. The Edens by Devony Perry. This I haven't read yet, but it's been recommended to me a lot because it's supposed to give off similar vibes to the Chestnut Spring series. We have the Maid series by Danielle Laurie, I believe. I haven't read this series either, but it's a series I've been recommended. I think it's like a dark mafia romance series. The Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. I actually read book one of this series on my Kindle and I ended up loving it so much that I went out and bought the physical copy. That was really cool because I originally found the series on Kindle Unlimited and I was like, oh, this sounds really interesting. And then I read it and loved it. Something else to note when it comes to your Kindle is that when you're reading your books, you can actually highlight and annotate yourself and then all your highlights and annotations for every single book is kept in a separate folder in your library called clippings, I think. I thought that was really cool because when you go in to look at your highlights and stuff from previous books, 
looks. It tells you exactly what page and stuff it was on, but tells you what date you highlighted and what time you highlighted. We do have some Colleen Hoover books on here. We have Reminders of Him, Regretting You, and Layla. This one is a pretty big one and I'm very surprised about. The Harry Potter series is available on Kindle Unlimited, which I thought was really interesting. We have a ton of Lucy score books. We have Things We Never Got Over and Things We Hide from the Light. Book three is supposed to be available when it comes out as well, so I'm super excited for that. We have Bio Thread and Never Never as well. Say You Swear, I saw this randomly. I actually have the physical copy of this book, but when I saw it was on Kindle Unlimited, I thought that was really cool. The Lancaster Prep series, this is by Monica Murphy, I believe. I don't know a lot about this series, but I've seen a lot of people review it and say positive things about it. In a Jam is on there. This was a very popular book early on in this year. From Lukov with Love. I don't believe The Wall of Winnipeg in Me is on there, but that one is, so that's pretty cool. The Windy City series is available. I've heard such good things about that series lately. I have to start it. The Serpent in the Wings of Night, The Ashes and the Star Cursed King, Beyond the Play series, and guys, I just found out a few days ago when I was filming my fantasy vlog. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. We read fantasy books together for a week, but Divine Rivals Divine Rivals is available on Kindle Unlimited. I've gotten messages from so many of you saying that you want to read Divine Rivals. You hear it's incredible. You can read it on Kindle Unlimited. You don't even have to worry about getting a physical copy because I know for a little bit the physical copies were really hard to come by. Those are all the Kindle Unlimited recs I have for you in this video. If you want more recs, I definitely recommend checking out my other Kindle video that I filmed in the beginning of this year because I may have like some different ones in there. Again, there's literally millions of books available in the Kindle Unlimited limited catalog. I personally think it is so worth the $15 every month, especially if you're a heavy reader. And then I think I also briefly mentioned it, but you can also check out books from your library, which I think is such a cool feature because that's totally free. I know there's usually longer wait time, so that's kind of a setback to it. But if you're looking for an easy free option to read books, your library is always the best choice. But I think that about covers everything I want to talk about when it comes to my Kindle. I hope this video was helpful to those of you who are trying to decide whether or not you should get a Kindle, if it's worth the money, if you think you'll use it. Again, coming from me, I was always a physical book type of girl. I got my Kindle last year during Christmas time and I gave it a try. I ended up loving it, but this is like my eight or nine month updated review on it. I've had it for almost a year now and I've been using it nonstop, so I thought I'd sit down today and give you guys my full opinion and review on it, talk to you guys about Kindle Unlimited. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Comment down below what your favorite book is off of Kindle Unlimited to help other people find new book recs. That's a good one. But I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video.